Everybody, welcome back. Super Auto Pets. What did we do like we were on free to play? Put me on pay to win. I've got my own Super Auto Pet, by the way. Let me show him to you as I put him in his cat tree. It's my good son, Tomo. Welcome, Tomo, to the show, everybody. Hey. How you doing, buddy? He's a little shy. You want to go in the cat tree? Oh, oh. Nope, the answer to that question was no. <laughs> anyway, welcome Tomo to the show. Here playing some Super Auto Pets. Excited to be here. Pay to win. On pay to win, I'm a ladybug man. Personally, we probably lose this round. I mean, bearded legs. I don't know. Bearded heads just seemed a little too simple. I always like to... I like a team name that is a little interesting, you know? I like a team name that makes you think a little bit. We draw round one. Sorry, we got like some frame loss. I think it's because the Xbox app just sent me seven notifications. It's probably Josh inviting me to play Sea of Thieves. I'm not thrilled with this shop, I'm gonna be honest, but I'll take this opportunity to create a 2-3 mosquito that maybe gives us a 3% greater chance of drawing the next round. This seems like a problem. <laughs> Never mind, I think it actually is totally fine. My calibration's all messed up. That team was not that scary. Okay, things we have duplicates of already. Good. Excuse me, what, what the heck's going on, man? Am I dying? Is my PC dying? Early rabbit is insane, and then we give it some job security. I stand by that, by the way. When I say insane there, I mean insane. Let me hydrate real quick. Mm. It's just water, but like, tastes good though. We lose this one for sure. It's always easy to compare when they have the exact same unit as you, but just with better stats. That makes it very simple. Now, our ladybug is probably not sticking around too long. I honestly don't... Actually, I think all three of these units are not sticking around. So I choose temporarily to not upgrade them. And hopefully... I'm not even that thrilled with this, honestly. But hopefully get some better units in time. Probably Mosquito goes first, then Beetle, then Ladybug. Meet Turtle. We could win this. We will win this. That's surprising to me. That's surprising. What are we going to do, man? It's like a puppy does not work here. I'll tell you one thing that does work. Always feeding your rabbit when you get the opportunity. Probably feeding it garlic even though you just gave it a B. We gave it a B mostly for the HP. It was an opportunity cost situation. You're not sticking around. Don't get any big ideas. We're going to sell a mosquito. We're going to buy a tropical fish because the... Oh, one, one extra? Okay. Because the tropical fish also helps with our scaling. This is actually like a pretty good setup right here. Considering that the shops have been a little cursed, we could be doing like a lot worse. We could be doing a lot worse. <laughs> we're, we're making a lot out of a little right now. I would say this is big time sell me, buy me, run two rabbits for a minute, for a minute. Certainly I could add a salad into the equation. That's not so bad. Um, I don't think this is particularly inspiring. So believe it or not, like I'm going full like scumbag build. <laughs> What is scumbag build? Uh, I don't know. Rabbit, swan, plus just about anything. As many turtles as you can get. But I do want to kind of say in my own defense, like, I don't know what the heck else I'm supposed to do, really. Like, we didn't really get any meme options early on. Little tabby cat, I guess. But we're still going to feed you. I think that's still efficient for us. We're definitely going to salad. We should probably replace you. I just think it's a little too late for a worm, quite frankly. I can't believe how many apples I've purchased. I don't even, you know, maybe I've been loving the rooster a little bit more lately. I think we save until the snail can come out. I don't mind giving up a little bit of the shop. I Weirdly enough, I mean, it's, you won't hear this too much, but I actually think the snail is kind of underrated. You do pay an opportunity cost, but I still think it's underrated, even with that in mind. 
You know, I want our rooster to get the benefit of the snail. I wasn't willing... I mean, we could probably, to be honest with you, sell an ant, but... Freeze me? Nah. Yes, okay, actually... Feeling kind of okay. Four wins by round eight. Three losses, but many of those were in the early game. We, we don't have a great uh, setup here. But we do have a better setup than our opponent, which is funny because they made their team. What, the subway doesn't taste good? You made your own sandwich. Okay, give me two of these. I'll still take a salad. It would be nicer. I'm not going to deny it. It would be nicer if we had a stronger... Um, if we had a stronger team. Particularly a stronger rabbit would hit the spot right now. I, a, a higher level, I should say. Because obviously 1525 is actually pretty good. But don't turn up your nose at a 1518 rooster. It's not even about... the. What I realized with the rooster is that it's way less about... Fair enough. Um, the fact... At least early, it's way less about the fact that it spawns more uh, chickens. The real meat and potatoes is just as you buff it, you're basically buffing 1.5 units every time, which many people will tell you an apple probably does not justify that. I guess I'm not many people. Actually would have been a good time for a squirrel. Let's 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 play an econ game here. Two, four, three, one. It's actually a perfect poodle. I think it would be fine for a skunk too, but um I like a poodle when we get the chance. It doesn't always happen. This is a disaster. This is a complete... Uh, it's a farce. You own me. Fair enough. You own me. Just get out of here. Buff me. Buff me. Buy me. Roll me. I don't trust the chili pepper. We have no melon yet, though. That's a scary thought. Um, truth be told... If we're gonna get to, and this like nullifies the, the question we had, but if we're gonna get to 10 wins, which is what I always want to aim for, like I'm not just aiming to get to 6. To be fair, you gotta get to 6 before you get to 10, but you get the idea. Um, if we want to get to 10, I think the only way we can do that is with a level 2 or better rooster. So I want to save the chocolate for the rooster rather than going in on the, the rabbit, which might have seemed like the more sensible play, but then we got a rabbit in the shop, thus meaning we didn't have to actually talk about any of the stuff we just talked about. Technically, we could tiger and then spit out three chickens, but I don't think it's that, uh, I don't think it's that advantageous. Same with the one-up, because it spits out the chicken as a one-one. It's basically like putting, like, a super bee on your, uh, on a, a unit. Might be okay in some situations, but I think we just lose this to Melon Armor. You are too strong. It's a strong team. Penguin, Skunk, two Melon Armors. It's the team I wish I had. But as a warm-up, I think that was pretty good for six wins, honestly. Take one of those. Uh, give me early stats. That's where I'm at right now. I think the one of the best things we could do is we'll be the helpless geeks. Life imitates art. I think one of the best things we could do to maximize our odds of getting to 10 wins is win early rounds. Because I tend to pivot off of all the units I buy anyway in the early game. So, like, why am I wasting my time, uh, like, buying a unit that could scale later when by round five, if I have it, I'm like, I just messed it up. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't even have this in my squad anymore. What if we could just win some early games instead? Well, okay, you got me. Good mosquitoes, good mosquitoes. That's pretty true. You've leveled me. This is now quite nice. Roll me. I'll be honest, I'll take a bet. You already know I'm taking a pill. And if you're going to be sitting on three gold, why don't you just give me the world's smallest buff? They add up, okay? I also think re-rolling would have been fine, but... We take these. We take these, man. I would love to become an early game superstar again. Because it's so much easier to win in the early game. More turtles, please. I like turtles. It's true. It's a meme, but it's true. You know what? You want to win early? Give me a tabby cat on this squad. 
give the tabby cat a little uh, cupcake. If you're not doing anything else, you might as well put your gold, you know, in service of a potential victory. Am I right or am I wrong? I could be wrong. It is it is possible for sure. The tabby cat, I mean, for a unit that I completely wrote off, certainly I'm using it a lot. It's just, it's just interesting, the tabby cat, huh? I think we can definitely feed you once to maximize our chances of winning this round. Freeze a snail for future purposes. Use a salad because the buffs are nice. Fed units I would never want to take in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze two snails, a little garlic on a tabby, and it can stick around a bit longer. I would prefer to have a plan by now. That's the honest to goodness truth. You got me. You got me. Not by much, but you got me. So late for a tropical fish, man. Give me a snail. Give me a snail. It's buffing some units I don't necessarily want to keep around. I was going to look and see if there was another snail, but it's okay. It's okay. Look at this, man. Look at this. You think you could... It's a little late for a caterpillar, too. But if you keep saying it's a little late for all of your ways out, you don't realize that you're actually making it... You know, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. That went very well, though. That was nice. We need to get some of these units leveled if they're going to stick. Like, you, I'm keeping you. No, I'm not keeping you. Because this is our way out. It's the buffalo. We sell, sell, buy, roll. Anything that gives you a benefit on sell is like an instant purchase. And then legitimately, like, we know the buffalo's hanging around. We might as well give the buffalo plus one attack. It also got plus one, plus one just from the purchase. So we're turning this into a big buy-sell. Killing the meat on the turtle is not going to be enough. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this team is, is scary, man. What are we at? Four HP? I ain't trying to hear that. This is a great time for... Oh, okay. This is an incredible line, actually. Look at this line I take. I am freaking clutch. We sell an owl. We buy a turtle. Roll me. No pill. That's okay. We freeze you because we can apply you later. Freeze you, you're a great buy sell. We're really looking for a pill. I'm freezing the whole shop. It's a dream shop. We just need to find a way to get rid of this turtle first. Oh good. We got we weakened their bee. Incredible. That's great news. Alright, we still made it. I'm not complaining. That's five wins. Pill me. Pill me. I need like it's critical. For now. I'll try to buy something to keep you useful, don't get me wrong, but we need a pill. We don't see a pill. I can't get rid of you. This is a disaster. We added one garlic. And now we're going to have... What the heck? <laughs> what a squad. I mean, you own me. That's That's a given. Now we got to put melon on our bat because we gave you garlic? No, that we shouldn't have given you garlic. We should have given the bat garlic. But let's not throw good money after bad. Give me a little buy. So you get the buff, then a combine. Then a buy. Sell. Then a buy. Sell. Two, two, one, four. It's like pretty good. Let's start with the owl and pray for the best. Don't need another tabby, I'll tell you that much. We're not where I would want to be. But that doesn't mean we're necessarily screwed. A lot comes down to our bat right now. Six wins. We've at least approach, approached respectability. I don't know. This actually just genuinely might not be a, a, a poodle accessible situation. We like that. We love a buy sell. Well, that, that carries a benefit. This can fall off pretty quick, so you got to be a little careful. <laughs> Look, I think it's... The dragon works very well with this. 
We could add a dragon. We gotta freeze all our level ones that show up or anything that gives us a benefit. We could sell... I Look, the tabby cat provides more utility than the fish in all likelihood, but there's a flip side to that. Well, the flip side is that we lost anyway, um, so we don't have to worry about it. The fish was... Neither the fish nor the tabby were ever going to give us benefits versus uh, the buy-sell effect, I guess, is what I was going to say. It's an interesting start. Let me get the edible piggies. Good name, good name. Look, 6 out of 10 is not as bad as it can get, obviously. Like, f constantly winning 3 or 4 and just being mired in mediocrity forever, that's way more um, annoying. That's way more disappointing. Constantly winning 6, though... It hurts. It feels like I'm, I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, but I'm not quite there yet. I don't see how a squad beats us here, though, just to be honest. All right. Well, I see how they draw to us, but I don't see how they beat us. Put that in writing. Try again. One of these. One of these. It's not really the animal you're looking for, but you know what? Any port in a storm. <laughs> I kind of think, like, you know, if a fish is going to stick around longer than a cricket, let's give the fish some honey. I would really like to win this round. That's why I have an unupgraded flamingo cricket and a base stat fish with uh, honey attached to it. It's because I want to win, okay? I got the killer instinct. I'm loving the attacks, though. The attack is doing wonders. We'll take another fish for now. We're not pilling you, at least not yet. Definitely, I would trade a 1-2 Cricket for a Bat. It's not to say the Bat is incredible. It's a tough one. I'm going to freeze you, actually. It's not to say the Bat is incredible by itself, but it certainly beats the Cricket at the same level. I lived. I died. Oh, we drove! That's incredible! Thank you, Bat. Thank you. I thought you screwed us, but actually, I mean, you didn't really not screw us, but I appreciate the support. Okay, you actually provide a benefit to the squad when you level up. So believe it or not, I'm going to sell you first. And then I'm going to hatching chick the owl. And this is where people are going to be like, wait, what? But I, I see it in my... In my mind's eye, I see how we can start to make this happen. With the flamingos, go or maybe the owl's going to go next. In doing so, this will give us the ability to start scaling this buffalo, but from a much better position than we were at last time. Dude, honestly, we got so lucky that was not a scary ox. We actually won that. I can't believe it. I'm so, I got so much cat hair stuck in my stubble. It's driving me crazy, man. So the thing is, the owl... You know what? The owl is probably worse than a fish, and you get a benefit when you sell it. So let's sell it. I'm okay with that. We'll put you here. Now we got to do some buy selling, so the fish is going to go anyway. Don't really care about getting a second hatching chick, so roll me. So great. You know what? Sell me, buy me, scale me, combine me, don't buy me, buy me, scale me, combine me. It's almost like it's early enough that this would have a chance, but the problem is, like the, the squirrel, the problem is we need the space to buy sell. So I'm not really willing to like take a squirrel and then pill a flamingo. I am willing to pill a flamingo next turn, but check this out, I'm buying a lobster. The reason I'm buying the lobster is got the best base stats. It's the easiest thing to buy sell. Anything else I would be tempted to keep. You ever watch the movie Heat? Never have anything that keeps you from getting from leaving for the airport when the heat's at your back. So true. So let's all the units that are sticking around enjoy this. I apologize to the flamingo. You you served us very well. But there's a nice little buy sell opportunity. 
you're actually getting to see what the uh, what the lobster does for a change. It's a nice little buy sell opportunity. I think you can keep a deer around as a just in case. You definitely would like another buffalo, honestly. Let's put that other buffalo right at the back. The lobster can go next. Actually, we should be like this now. Like this. Now, the stats are going to be better than they look, okay? But I'm here to tell you we're actually doing very well. Kind of surprisingly, but we're doing pretty well. Combine me. I think we can definitely buy me. It would be nice to have to have purchased a swan at some point. <laughs> Sell me, buy me. Now we're at the mercy of a pill. So we'd love to see one soon. I can live with this. I mean, because it's good. But we need a pill as soon as possible. But at 22-23, that's pretty strong. With melon armor attached to it. Oops. Oops. Little oops. What the heck? Wait, wait, how did that penguin get so strong? I'm not sweating it because it has five wins, but I'm just asking for a friend. I can't sell the... You know what? At this point, I would sell the hatching chick rather than suffer any more um, opportunity cost. So just give me a skunk. A pig. It's basically a one gold pair. It's quite nice. Two, four, four, three. No thanks. A lot of good stuff here. You can do a buy, then a sell, then a... Look, we're killing a 1-2. That's what we're losing here in order to do what we're doing right now. We couldn't have done... If we bought the cow, it would have erased the pill. It would have been worse. I stand by this as a, as a good decision. Now, we really are something of a one-trick pony here. But 2730 is insane stats. As a level 2 turtle, that's kind of spooky. I'll, I'll give it up to you. You got me there with the ox. You got me with the ox. We certainly love a level 2 skunk. You're going to go, but I don't think an octopus is the way here. Not yet, anyway. No benefit. Much benefit. If we see another cow at some point, we could we could do this properly. Don't even sweat it right now. That's good. That's good. We should start scaling something else. You know what? I'm stupid. Sell me. Buy a goat. The goat could work with your buffalo here. And then for the love of God, stop scaling the same unit. Because the buffalo scales itself. We got to start scaling other stuff. That was basically a dream come true. So be smart. You leave. You might as well come in here because we get some gold back and then we're going to combine you anyway. We don't need you though. We need to keep a flex spot open. This is a great flex spot. We buy a cow, start buffing something else. It really doesn't matter too much what. Let's go with the skunk. We're just trying to create a great melon armor target in the future. We can definitely sell. We can buy. We can place. I'll buy a... I'll freeze this. I'll buy a dragon, because his stats are best. Now, you might be saying, what about a, a dragon, you know, sell a bat and run some level ones and then scale the whole squad? It's, it might be the play, okay? You might be right. That hurt me. Nice level two snail. I, I love the ingenuity. I'm just worried it's a little slow. But... I mean, certainly we could get rid of a goat to keep the buy sell going, especially because you're going to be at max soon. Like, you could sell a goat. Let's say don't even worry about the chocolate. Just worry about as many buy sells as you can. I know people are going to be interested in the chicken as well, but you got to keep in mind, we don't even need that anymore. You got to keep in mind that with the chicken, I think we need a little bit more time to get it off the ground. You're so close to max. Like, what is this? A center for ants? I think we might... I mean, you can look at this in two ways. I think we might have had 
a few too many pseudo synergies that were competing happening at the same time or alternatively i think it's possible that we just didn't run into incredible shops sort of thing happens all the time but you know what we're still going that's seven wins the slump is broken oh no our slump it's broken you know what we need well like a, a swan is the actual answer but some more melon armor would also really hit the spot i'm willing to roll for melon armor i'll freeze this for the future don't see any melon armor. Okay. <laughs> We're putting a lot of a lot of pressure on uh, Buffalo right here. Although I gotta admit, he did not. Uh, the bat also has been a real unsung hero, but he has not been uh, steering us wrong so far. Now I'd love to get a level two dragon. The problem is without a swan, which we can't really fit in the squad now, it's a little too late, I think, to, to commit to that dragon until we know that the level 2 dragon is incoming. Which it won't be there. Uh, and it won't be here. I think you gotta do, like, the rare... I mean, I guess we could freeze this. Yeah, that's a good point. I was looking for melon. No melon? Give me, um... I mean, you might as well give me, like, one permanent attack, maybe on the dragon. It's going to be really hard for this squad to get to 10 without two more melons, would be my, my guess. Although, to be honest, the squad that we're playing right now is like a melon counter. Although you have 40 HP, holy cow. Whatever, we still win. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. We're on lethal and we're on win. So if we buy, buy, we're on four gold. Sell, we're on five. We can give everybody four, four. That's how much gold we got left. If we just sell, we're on 11. Everybody gets one. We're on nine. Everybody gets two. We're on seven. Everybody gets three. We're on five. If we draw, I'm glad we did the math. Because if we draw, I actually think this is the right play. I think they're roughly equivalent right now. But if we draw, this will be much better. Now, the other counterfactual we should have evaluated against is what are our odds if we just roll and get two melon armors instead of giving everybody 4-4? Four, four? I think our odds go way up in that situation. But, but... We win these. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This bird is like, me too. Me too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a feeling we were going to get to 10. I was, I was running the math. If you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. Counting down the days till the announcement of the announcement of the release date of the announcement of the DLC. And I'll see you next time. See you.